Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome to Timberborn, which is a settlement builder in the classic style, so there's going to be homes to build and food to grow and resources to gather and all that kind of stuff, but in this settlement everything is made of wood, and when we say everything I mean everything except possibly the food, the food isn't made of wood because that would just be a bit weird, but everything else is made of wood because this is not a settlement of humans, it's a settlement of beavers. Yes, beavers, hence the wood you see, because, you know, beavers like chewing through wood and all that kind of stuff. So apparently the story of the game is that we are in the future, humans are extinct, and we are playing as a society of lumberpunk beavers, which sounds fantastic. I do like the concept of lumberpunk. We've got cyberpunk and there's steampunk, so now it's wood's turn to go punk. So yes, lumberpunk, I like the sound of it. Uh, this is an open alpha version that we're looking at at the moment. It's a really, really early version the game. It is not representative of the final version. It's a sort of prototype. That's how the developers have described it to me. But I just thought the concept sounded very interesting. I just like the idea of lumberpunk beavers and everything being made of wood. If you want to find out more, there are links in the video description. But I think without any further ado, let's go and become a load of beavers and get lumberpunking. So the first thing we have to do is select a race and a map. I'm intrigued with the races. I mean, we're not only just playing as beavers, there's different races of beavers as well. So we can only play as common beaver, your everyday beaver. There is nothing special about him. But then we've got this one here. This is locked away. So eager beaver, he's not much of a sleeper. Just half an hour is enough. However, more hours being awake means more food needed. Ah, so you're going to be more productive, but you're going to need more food if you are playing as the eager beaver race. And to unlock that, you need to reach an average well-being of eight. Okay, we'll see what that's all about when we play the game. And this one here is a, is a fancy beaver. He desperately needs aesthetic satisfied or he will die. Oh my goodness me, he very much is fancy. However, social life makes him breed like rabbits. Okay, so to unlock, reach an average well-being of 11 whilst playing as eager beaver. Okay, right, so they sort of unlock each other. Okie doke. And there's two maps, uh, Beaverville 128 by 128 or Beaverville 96 by 96. Do you know what? We'll go for the 128 by 128 map. Why the heck not? We can only be your common everyday beaver. So here we go. Let us begin and just see how this works. And here we are in the game, and here are our lumberpunk beavers. So we've got eight of them. We have eight beavers, and it tells us up here that it's split between five adults and three children. Now, I can't zoom in anymore, but we can adjust the angle temporarily and go and look. But there they are. Look, they're just beavers. Just sentient beavers ready to build a little community. They've clearly built this little sort of storage area, this warehouse just here. So, um, yeah, you know, you've made a start. Let's carry on, shall we? So, uh, yeah, we're on this map. Let's have a look around the map very quickly. Uh, there's some smaller trees here. There's some bigger sort of pine trees there. I mean, the map is quite big. It's quite a big map. It's got a river going through the middle of it. Um, there's a couple of levels as well. There's different levels. I imagine we have to access via the ramps just here. I don't think we can access this sort of uh, whatever that is, that material just there. I don't think there's any ramps up to this particular plateau, if you like. So I don't think we can get up there, but we can certainly use a lot of these green bits, I think. Yeah, there's a bit there that we can get to and a bit there, so a ramp that will let us get this high up here. So there's plenty of room to build on, which is quite good. So let's go down and have a look at the beavers then. So yes, we've got these beavers. Now they all have their own needs and things. I have played this a little bit just to get used to how it all works. If we click them, they've got hunger, they've got thirst, and they have sleep. I think they're the very basic levels. And they've got these other things here as well. So they have social life and fitness and nutrition levels, comfort, aesthetics, and then awe as well. So you know, they can be just in awe of things as well. So um, so yeah, but these are the first three that we're going to have to worry about right now. Because obviously, these guys have got nothing. They've got no homes. They've got no resources. They've got nothing at all. They've just wandered out of this little warehouse. And they're looking around going, right, Get lend a hand, would you please help? So what we'll do is we'll build some stuff. Now, what we want to do is these trees can give you different things. So the little trees here can give you twigs. They yield four twigs, that tree. And the thing about the twigs for the beavers is that you can eat them because they're beavers and they want to eat them. So they eat the trees, they eat the twigs, and that's a food source. It's not the greatest food source, but it'll do. It keeps them going whilst we're getting proper food sort of production in. So these trees here we generate twigs. These ones here generate logs. So these trees are for construction. I think the little ones, yeah, so the smaller trees are, they produce less logs. So those trees are for logs and construction. These ones here are for food. 
We've already got 30 twigs in there right now. Though I don't imagine that will last very long at all. Uh, but of course we want places for people to live. They need to have homes and they need to have food and they need to have a little provision for water as well. So there's, there's quite a lot to get done initially. So let's start just building some stuff. So housing, we can only have one type of house at the moment. It's a little lodge, a place to spend the night. So it satisfies sleep, it satisfies comfort. It can have two adults, one child, and it needs 12 logs. So I think to start with, Let's get a house and we'll tuck the house into the corner and I've got a plan with this. I've got an idea of what I would like to do. So somewhere along here, is it structures? Yes, okay. Uh, there's a wooden path that we can put down. So it requires one plank. Now we won't be able to do that for a while because we need to build a special building that turns the logs into planks, but we can at least outline this as a path. And the path can come down here and go to here, go to the water's edge. And then somewhere in here, is it just there? A watering place, a place for beavers to have a drink. So it's a little thing you have to tuck on the edge just here if we rotate it round. It's, it's like a ladder. Essentially, it's a little ladder with a step and they can go onto that and get a drink from the river because you know, the, the bank does look relatively steep and they're only little, they're only little. They don't wanna fall in and get carried away. So yeah, it's a little sort of place where they can go and get a drink. So we'll put that in to start with. So a house, a path which we can't do, but this thing they will be able to do, the little watering thing. And then we want to get in some food. So I think a carrot field sounds good. We've got carrot fields at the moment and potato fields. Now, a lot of these things are locked away. You can click to unlock them for science points. And there's a thing just here which generates science points. That is an inventor's hut. Um, the only thing is it requires a worker. So someone will have to go in there and be the inventor. We've only got five adult beavers. So there's only five of them to go and do any kind of work at all. If we have a field, that takes two of them. So that will put us down to three. This inventor will put us down to two people going and chopping the trees down. So we might not put that in straight away. I think let's get us a carrot field. So, um, oh, hang on a minute. There was a, there was a storage thing, wasn't there? Where's that? There was a log pile. Let's get a log pile first. We'll put a log pile there and then we'll get ourselves a carrot field. So how about we put the carrot field um, just, I don't know, here or something. Let's put it down here. Let's pop it there. So the carrot field can go along this path when it exists. And then there's something else we want to put in somewhere around here as well for leisure. There's a campfire, a place for beavers to relax and socialize in the evening. So that satisfies their social life need. That does need a lot of logs as well, but we could put that there. That might be quite nice. So pop that there, and then we can have a sort of series of paths running that way, maybe some nice stuff in the middle, I do not know. But that's plenty for them to do. Now, of course, we need many, many things. So let's go to tree cutting, um, and we'll cut down, we'll cut down the mature trees. So anything in this range that's mature, we will cut down, please. So we want quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of logs. So there you go. So do you know what? Let's stretch it out a little bit more. There. So it puts markers on them. Go and chop them down, beavers. Okay, and again, we've got, we can press space to unpause it. It's very good, I do like a space bar pause. So uh, yeah, the speeds are paused, normal speed, times three and times seven, which is brilliant because they do go really, <laughs> really very fast indeed. So there we go. So the adults are busy. The kids are just sort of, sort of mooching around outside the storehouse. They cannot do anything just yet. I don't know how old they have to be to actually... Uh, be classed as an adult. I mean, how old do you? You're eight days old and you are 36 days old. Okay, so I don't know exactly where the crossover is. 20 days old is an adult. Um, so, right, I don't know where the other ones are. The other ones are all hidden away in the trees. You, 15 days old is an adult. So it might not take too long for some of those to turn into adults, which would be very, very useful indeed. Um, this house, there you go. So they've uh, they've got some stuff in there and it magically appears. You don't need builders or anything yet anyway. That might be in a future version of the game. But right now, the buildings just appear when they are done, which is marvellous. So we've got a house. So in this house, we've got Rangi and Seiji and Pina. So those three live in that house, which is wonderful. Now they are working on the field. So in the field, we've got Trezan and Rangi. Oh, okay, so Rangi, who lives here, works on the field here. Oh, okay, lovely, that's quite good. So yeah, they're working in there. Um, so now what are they doing? They're all sort of rushing about because it's night time. They've all gone to have a little sleep. They have got a lot of work to do, haven't they? They've got a lot of work to do. Also, we might want to get some more twigs. So let's cut down the mature trees in that zone as well, because this would generate twigs for them to eat, because we're down to 14 twigs. However, the good thing is, 
that they are planting carrots. And the carrot progress is 5%. So there you go. So these two, Trezan and Rangi, are going to work on this carrot field. Carrots will come out. Now you have got a water symbol above your head saying that you are thirsty. That thing is now complete. There is someone down here having a little drink at the sort of uh, water, whatever that thing is. The little water, whatever it is, what is it? A watering place. So there's uh, somebody there. But yeah, now you've gone to actually get some water from there, which is very, very good. Um, incidentally, the camera angle can come down to this angle. So you can use the right mouse button to come right down onto the ground level. But when you let go, it pings you back up into the sky, which, you know, is not too bad. That's absolutely fine. So, right, so they're busy getting... Yeah, they've got loads of twigs now. They've got lots of twigs. That should keep them going for quite some time. Now, I wonder if they're now not chopping down this stuff because they concentrate more on twigs. I do not know. Whatever the case, move time on nice and quick because your twigs are quite important as well. We want twigs because we want them to survive. <laughs> we want them to stay alive because that would be very handy. So um, yeah, they can get rid of all these. It looks like it doesn't take too long to, to cut these down, to be fair. It looks like it's relatively quick. Oh, there you go. Another day has gone by. Crikey. Um, you can adjust the working hours if you like. I imagine if you make them longer, they're going to get tired or they get angry or whatever, or they don't have their needs met in some other ways. So, um, so yeah, so the working hours can be adjusted. We'll leave that as default for now. That's absolutely fine. Um, we'll let them, when they wake up, imagine when we get to there, is that waking up time? Yeah, there we go. Wakey, wakey. Right, so come down, chop these down. That'll be done. Then we can go back to doing some more, some more sort of uh, logging, getting the logs for construction. So we've got this here, got the campfire in. We have a carrot field. That's useful. I think maybe another house would be quite good. In fact, you know what? Let's get another two houses because that should house everybody because it houses three people. There's eight of them. So each house can hold three. There's eight. So we should have a little bit of capacity left over if they can get here. You're a bit thirsty. So they're loading this up now with logs, the campfire, which is probably good. That's probably a good thing. I wonder what it looks like. Go on, show us the campfire. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks quite good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's good. Oh, and it lights up properly and there's proper lighting and stuff. And they're all just sat around the campfire having a little, having a little sing song and eating, well, twigs, I suppose, because there's nothing else yet. It's twigs or carrots, I suppose. Twigs or carrots. Um, we could do with some more, uh, some more beavers, to be honest. We could do with some more being born. Um, I mean, yeah, there's only one house. There's only one house. So Rangi and Seiji, if you could, you know, crack on with that right now. That would be marvellous because we do need some more, we need some more beavers. Um, what else can we build? While they're working on all this, let's have a look. So a Lido, that's currently locked away. We've got a number of storage options. We've got both of those as a large warehouse and a water tank. That could be quite useful. Um, primitive production, there's actually quite a lot of production stuff. So we've got a forester to plant trees because obviously we're going to go through all these things quite quickly. Um, we've got different fields, so potato fields. We can unlock a wheat field which is quite good. We've got a grill to grill potatoes. So if you grow potatoes, they're pointless raw. So if you get a potato field, you're going to need a grill to go with it. But that satisfies nutrition too. Oh, there you go. Renji has grown up. We've got an extra adult. Oh, okay. That's very handy. So we've got another person going around doing some stuff. That is very useful. Okay. Uh, there's a bakery to make bread from flour. There's a water pump. So you can put water elsewhere, not just by the riverside, which is quite useful. Uh, we've got the inventor, which we'll get shortly. Paper maker. That makes paper from logs. I don't know what we do with paper. Um, ah, the inventor's workshop. It generates science points using paper much faster than the inventor's hut. Ah, so you get a paper maker to make paper and then a workshop and your science points come in a heck of a lot quicker. And then a gear workshop craft gears from planks. Now that might be to do with this mechanical production thing. There's a carpenter to make planks and we'll need one of those shortly, but it requires power to operate. And then there's a grist mill, a paper mill, a mechanical sawmill, a mechanical gear workshop, everything here made of wood. So power, so there's a water wheel. Ah, produces power, must be placed on a river bank. And then all these sorts of things, a straight shaft and a shaft turn. Shaft T-shaped intersection. What? What is all this? What is this? Okay, that must be how the power is transferred. And Solix was born. We have a new baby beaver. That's very exciting. And everybody's got a house. So they were all able to go and sleep in a proper house, which I imagine has them properly rested. Okay, yeah, this stuff is all to do with 
with sort of transferring the power from a water wheel. Then there's structures which are like ramps and bridges and things like that. Decor, which I would like. I like the idea of having shrubs and things to make it look pretty and little benches and stuff. And then monuments. What's that? A labourer monument? Um, ah, that's This is the ore stuff. So a labourer monument, the flame of progress. A cauldron commemorating the successes of your civilization. That sounds exciting. And a tribute to ingenuity. Okay, this is very good. So how are the uh, how are the carrots looking? 75% through. It's looking good. We've got plenty of logs. We've got plenty of twigs. Okay, right. Let's slow time down. What do we want to do now? It might be a good idea to get another house in because at some point another child is going to be born and we might want to have that child in a house. So let's put... Let's put the house up there, actually. We can have a little, we can have a nice street to coming down here. There you go. We'll have a little street. And um, then what do we want to do next? I kind of feel like we should, I feel like maybe we should get ourselves a potato field and a grill. But also I would like the inventor hut to generate some science points just so we can actually get that sort of thing underway. So yeah, let's put, let's put that just there. Let's put the inventor hut in just there. Now, what did that require? Uh, 12 logs and uh, we have 43 of them but only four twigs oh dear hang on a moment uh can we go and chop down any more of those um ah yeah they're now mature trees they've grown up a bit i've grabbed a few there as well but never mind that's fine um so yeah there we go so we've got ourselves some more twigs coming in can we not build at night time then oh come on i'm, I'm tempted to just the working hours but i'm not going to but look everyone's gone home everyone's nipped home for a little sleep out they come and they're going to start building this stuff. So yeah, we're going to have to assign somebody to this. Somebody is going to go and have to be the inventor. Another house is there, which is wonderful. Right, the inventor is in and Zulkis is the inventor. And yeah, you're doing some crafting. Oh, look at that. And it's all wood. <laughs> it's just like a, a wooden, whatever that thing is, a wooden twirly thing. But I like the idea that everything is just constructed of wood. But there you go. So we've got the inventor hood. He's got a wooden twirly thing at the top. How are the carrots looking? 86%. Looking very good. So you're going to start generating some science points. And that's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time for those science points to creep up. We could do with these carrots coming out. But it's going to take another little while. We do have quite a supply of twigs. But... Yeah, they're not going to last forever. We need proper food sources. So how about, now we've got that, what have we got? So we've only got three labourers. Two people work in the carrot field. One person is in the inventor's hut. If we made another field, that would be two people working on the field, which would leave one labourer. But if we grow potatoes, we then need somebody to work in the, um, whatever it was, the grill, was it? The grill to turn the potatoes into something useful. So by building a potato field and a grill, it would deplete our workforce down to entirely nothing. I suppose what we could do is, once this is done, and we get the stuff out of it, because I imagine it's going to go to 100% very soon. Come on, before the end of the day. Come on, come on now. Let's have a look. 100%. Okay. How does this work? Oh, there they go. They're taking carrots in. And there you go. We're getting carrots going in here. Marvellous. Oh, there's loads of them. This is brilliant news. Okay, so what we could do, we could... Now we've got a supply of them. We've got quite a lot of them. We could reduce the workers in there. Just say, there you go. So it's just Rangi. And now we could go to a potato field and we could pop that. Oh, we can't pop it there. Or oh, there. Oh, it's terrible. It's badly designed. Who'd <laughs> thought it? Uh, we'll put that just there. So the potato field over here. And that can be for spuds. And then the grill could go... Ah, the grill could fit just there, which is wonderful. So we'll put the grill in as well. Although we don't need the grill right now. We don't need the grill at present because it's not going to do anything. So when the potato food is harvested, we'll build the grill. So that's good. 16 science points. Can we unlock anything exciting yet? We might need the forester. We might need the forester. That could be really, really handy. 140 science points, though. That could take a long time. That could take a heck of a long time. Let's get the mature trees cut down. Uh, in this block here. Let's get all those ones done. One thing I would like to see is a water wheel. Now, I don't really know what we'd need it for right now because I think we're in the very early stages. I don't think we need much with the that needs power. I don't think many of our buildings require a power source, but it would be very interesting to build. If we could pop it there. Yes, we have to put it here and then it requires these things, isn't it? These, these sort of shafts to go along and transfer the power of the wheel turning into whatever building we connect it to. 
So I wonder if you can, yeah, because look, that there, yeah, so if we, at the moment, if we built one of these, we could only have one thing connected to it. So we'd have a water wheel and it could power one building because we've got a straight shaft and a turn. So we can never split the power up or anything. What we'd need is this, a T-shaped intersection or a shaft intersection. If we had those, we could then have a lot of buildings powered off of one wheel. But at the moment, that's just not going to happen. Okay, and there's high shafts and raised shafts and all sorts of things. Oh my goodness me. Um, okay, so at the moment, it's looking pretty good. We've got plenty of housing. We've got lots of nice housing. We've got ourselves a field here which we are going to assign one person to. So who's going to leave? Who's going to go? It's going to be Bai. So Benny is the remaining worker there. So that's fine. So I'm not so bothered about that now. We'll put the grill in when it's done. So uh, when this, when the potatoes are ready. And there they are. The plants are in. We're getting some science points. Um, so yeah, at the moment, I think we can just sort of sit back and sit back and relax. I would like to get this in. I would like to get the inventor workshop in far quicker than the, yeah, I'd like to get it in sooner rather than later, because I think if you get that in sooner, all the other stuff is going to be unlocked sooner. And the science points are relatively slow to come in. So what do we need for that? That would need an inventor workshop, which needs, it doesn't need power. It just needs logs and planks. So we'd need to have the thing which can produce planks, which I think is in here somewhere. It must be in here somewhere. It must be primitive production. Um, so yeah, it must be in there somewhere. And then it needs paper. So we'd need the paper maker. So we'd also need some planks away. Yes, we need lots and lots of planks. So is it there? Oh, it's there. The carpenter makes planks from logs. Ah, that requires power. Ah, maybe that is what we do. So shall we put one of these in? Let's pop one of these in, although we are going to run out of labourers, aren't we? Um, let's put one in anyway. Let's see how this works. Oh, and there's a handy blue thing telling us how this works. This is very good. Okay, so let's put that. Uh, let's put that there so we can go on the end of this path. And that means the, the water wheel does not have to go too far. So if we pop that there, that's the carpenter making planks from logs. But that, everything's going to be over here. All the planks are going to be up here. That's where the planks are stored. Although, to be fair, running it down there isn't too far. We'll put it here for now. We can always move things around, I suppose. So we'll get that in. And then we want to get ourselves power. Let's get a wheel. So let's put the wheel just there, maybe. And then we need a straight shaft bit there and a straight bit. And then I think a right angle bit going to, say, there. So I think that's what we need. So that's now constructed. It's saying there's no power which is absolutely true. There is no power right now, but we can get power in to the carpenter very, very shortly once this magnificent wheel goes in. So let's have a look. There we go. So the wheel appears. Those things appear. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay. So we've got a very basic wooden wheel going on. And now, ah, look at this. This is interesting. Now they're able to, now they're able to make um, planks We've got planks. They're able to finish this path because this path is made of planks. They're able to actually work on constructing this path, which I guess makes them move a bit quicker along the path and all that kind of stuff. Okay, that is very good. We've got only 37 carrots left. Uh, yeah, growth progress is not looking good. I think we might up the, um, the labour on the carrot field. 23 twigs. We could get the remainder of these trees. Those trees can come down because they will be able to provide some twigs for us to snack on. I like that the carrots are the main dinner and these are just like a snack. <laughs> just the little the little sort of uh, baby beavers come in. Mum, Dad, have you got any sticks for us to snack on? Ah, oh, fine. They're in the stick tin. In you go. So um, we'll have a few more. So we've topped that up to, what, 50-odd maybe by the time they bring those in. So 47. That's not brilliant, is it? That's not great. We could do with the Forester. That could possibly be the first thing that we unlock for 140 science points. That is a lot of science points. That is a heck of a lot of science points. Okay, fine. Right, let's just leave it going for a bit, I think. We're going to leave it running. Hopefully these carrots are going to grow nice and quick because we're going through them very rapidly indeed. But um, yeah, we'll come back. Maybe we'll come back when we've got a few more science points. 
only got 54 right now. I do think we need this forester in. But um, also, we do need a source of twigs. Can we get any more twigs from anywhere else? Are there any sort of twiggy areas? It doesn't look it, does it? It doesn't look like there's any more twigs anywhere. Okay, this is where things could start going a little bit wrong because we ran out of food. We ran out of uh, lovely carrots. They went ages ago. And we ran out of delicious snacky sticks. I'm not entirely sure how we go about getting some more. Now, if we highlighted this up here and said, chop these down, because I imagine they provide, or well, they provide logs. Um, ah, these provide twigs. Yeah, so twigs just here. So if we said, go and get these, we just said, all right, there you go. There's some mature trees. Go and grab a big bunch of them from there. How are they going to do that? Then they're probably not going to do that now because it's not time to go to work. So they're not doing anything. Now, hopefully they won't, They aren't just going to die. They can go to bed. There you go. Go to bed um, and, and wake up and go and grab some, some sticks from over there. Now, do they get in the water? There's three laborers. Right, hang on, hang on. Let's stop them going over there. Um, oh, no, they're not going over there. Okay, so they're not working on that. So are they coming over here? Yes. Okay, look, there's one just here. So they must just... Did they hop up off the ramp or what? I didn't really see what they did. Okay, well, they're coming over here. You guys are going to be the lifesavers. You're going to save the place. Bring back many, many sticks. <laughs> Bring back all the twigs because people are starving to death and we need all of the twigs, please. Um, do they have a capacity? 200. Okay, what we'll do is... Because we're at a time of crisis. Oh, actually, that should be plenty. That should be loads and loads of twigs. So there we go. Twigs are going in. Twigs are immediately being eaten. So we could do with them going to grab some more. Um, oh, the carrots are so nearly done. It's going to be another day, I think. It's going to get to 98% for the carrots. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> that was so close. Are you, are you bringing stuff back? Please tell me you brought back some more twigs. Because otherwise, people are going to be dead again. Um, yeah, you can run this way. Bring back sticks. Put sticks into that. Yes. Oh, twigs, whatever. You know what I mean? Yes, there we go. Right. You're still a bit hungry. You will die if that need is not satisfied. Right. Get these carrots out of the ground now and give everybody something to eat. Because <laughs> this, I don't want this to end in disaster. Right. There's food, everybody. There's delicious food. Please go and eat. Go and eat all of the, well, not eat all the carrots. Eat lots of carrots because they are delicious. Okay. Good. They're all going in. Oh my goodness me. And then what are we on? 102 carrots. That's not going to last long. So these guys are coming back. These guys are hungry. They're thirsty. Come on, come on. Get home, get home, get home. <laughs> quicker. Get home quicker. And make sure you don't die. Please eat something on the way. And I think people have eaten. That one is a bit thirsty. I don't know why you didn't use the, the water grabber thing. But okay, whatever. Right. How are the potatoes looking? 59%. Oh my goodness me, that does not go very quickly. And it, and it only yields 40 potatoes. So that yields 120 carrots, but that only yields 40 potatoes. But I bet they do a higher nutrition value thing, don't they? So yeah, once it's cooked, I wonder if we can see what that does. Where is it? The grill satisfies nutrition too. So yes, it's going to satisfy nutrition too. Um, they are still going to grab all of those things from quite some distance away, but that's fine. You should go and have a drink. You should go and have a drink. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. And uh, we'll get the grill in as well now. I think we'll put the grill into position. So we'll get the grill over here. We could build something over here. Could put a little path going that way. Build something behind here as well. But yeah, let's get the grill in just so it's ready. So when those potatoes are done, in what another couple of days possibly oh no. <laughs> oh no you died of thirst there's a, there's a river just here there's a river with a water thing just there you should have just gone to that i don't know why you didn't just do that oh dear so we've lost pinna 18 days old was P pinna was one of the little ones <gasps> pinna was one of the little tiny baby ones when we started oh dear right so you're thirsty you've got the right idea You've gone, I am thirsty. I shall go to the drinking place and get a drink. Pina, clearly not quite as smart. Okay, right. Everybody now, I mean, I suppose that's one less mouth to feed, I guess. <laughs> Thinking about it pragmatically, you get some food. Okay, it's all looking good. You're asleep. Um, I don't quite know why you're asleep. Just not doing anything there. Just just not doing anything at all. Ah, is it because this is full? No, it's not full of planks. Um... Okay, I don't know why they're not doing anything, but there we go. Never mind. Um, how are they for doing those? Yeah, they're still, 
Still slowly getting over there with the logs. Um, okay, science points were on 114. Um, the forester could be quite useful. The forester is going to be a very useful thing, but I'm, I'm tempted by the paper maker as well. But no, but I think we need the forester in order to make sure that we can get twigs from closer to home because all those twigs are going to go soon. So I think we save up 140 science points. We get the forester in. Oh, there we go. Look, day 10, Pina has grown up. Hooray. Day 18, Pina died of thirst. Oh, dear. It was a hard adult life, Pina. I do apologise. Okay, we're back to eating twigs again. This is getting very, very close to the bone, isn't it? I don't particularly like this. I'd like this potato field to get to 100% within the day. Of course, I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to get there quick enough. I think it might need another day in order to get to 100%. How are the carrots looking? 58%. So they're catching up. They're catching up very, very quickly. But, I mean, can we do it 94? Is that going to be at 95 when it gets past that sun? We might just get these potatoes sorted. It's going to be very fine. It's going to be cutting it fine. Let's keep watching. Of course, the other ones are still grabbing twigs. We just want this to be done by the time the sun goes down. We might just, just do it. They might get a few potatoes in. 99 and 100. 100? Yes. Okay, right. They've got some potatoes and I think now they're just going to go away. <laughs> okay. So they're grown, but because it got to the end of the working day, they're not going to harvest them. You fools. <laughs> we need them. We need them to eat. You're eating twigs at the minute, which I'm sure, you know, will do the job. But we want to get ourselves some potatoes out here so we can put them in the lovely grill and then have some lovely grilled potatoes. Some nice actual sort of hot food would be very welcome. Um, OK, let's see. Oh, there we go. Look. Wow. They cleared that very, very quickly indeed. Good grief. And there we go. We've got grilled potatoes going in. You're making more grilled potatoes. The crafting process is pretty quick. Fuel will last for seven more cycles. Ah, we've chucked some logs in. Ah, so some logs have gone into there. Okay, right. Pause time. We need to unlock the forester. Because otherwise we're going to run out of trees. We're going to run out of uh, more twigs nearby. So let's unlock the forester. Are you sure you want to unlock it? 140. We've got 148. Yes, please. I would love to. Okay. Plant trees in the area around the building. Okay, let's put it there. Because that makes sense. Do we get to pick what trees we would like? That would be quite handy. Right, pine ceilings. What were those? We want birch. We want birches. Pine are just here. They make uh, the building sort of uh, wood. We don't want that. We want snack wood. So was it birch, was it? Did it say? Yeah, birch. So please plant birch seedlings or maple seedlings. What do... Have we got the maple trees? Is that them? Mature maple makes eight logs. How much does a mature one of those make? Two. Oh, crikey, you want the maples? Oh, wow. Okay, right, so but we could have multiple of those. When we've cleared this, we could just put another one of those back down. Um, yeah, okay, but for now, birch seedlings, just so we can get extra twigs so we don't die of hunger. And there we go, we can see the grilled potatoes are in operation. So Zul Rajas, 10 days old, has got nutrition one. So that need has been met. I assume that's from maybe eating carrots or twigs or whatever, but also nutrition two. Nutrition 2, the need has been met. And because it's been met, it's got a little star. I assume that means it has been met. Um, it gets an extra 30% strength, which sounds very good. What does that do? Nutrition 3 is hauling speed, 20% extra. That's very good. So the life expectancy goes up a bit because they've got the basic nutrition in. And because they've got nutrition 2, they're a bit stronger. Okay. Okay. That is very, very useful indeed. Also, we've got some more beavers going on. We're going to need another house. We're going to need some more houses. Now, what we could do, we could build some houses down that side. Get some houses along here because nothing much else is going to fit in there. So let's get ourselves, uh, let's get ourselves this path. So the path can go, can it go that way? Look a bit weird going that way. We'll bring the path along like that and then up like that. And do you know what? We could just connect it around the back of there for ease of ease of access. And then we'll get ourselves a couple of nice houses along here. So we'll get ourselves a house and a house. And a house. There we go. So three more houses just to accommodate all the people that might come in. We could do with that as well. So one, we've got the planks. We just need the logs. Ah, are we out of logs? We are. Okay, right. Gotcha. Cut down all of those. All of the mature trees, please. Just, just all of them gone. We need all the logs. Also, no point having anybody in the grill right now, is there? So we can press P to turn that building off. 
which I imagine means that that worker comes out and does something else because that building is not doing anything. The grill can only operate when there are potatoes for it to grill and there aren't any. They're going to take quite some time. They're not even 20% grown yet. Although to be fair, the grilled potatoes do seem to be lasting quite well. In fact, was he still doing stuff? Was he still doing stuff? Input materials. Oh, yeah, hang on. You know, he's still got potatoes to grill. He's just doing it very slowly indeed. I thought he'd finished, but no. Look, he's got one more potato to grill. Yeah, okay, go and do that before it goes off and mouldy and all sort of gooey and gross. So yeah, you can do that, finish doing that, and then we'll switch this building off and that frees him up to go and do some labouring and some hauling and what have you. Oh no, he was nowhere near finished. There's more potatoes up in storage. So there's eight in storage still. So that's why these grilled potatoes are sort of maintaining at around 25 because they keep eating them, but then they're chucking more back in the grill and he's able to grill them and send them back to storage. However, storage is now full. We have got a full storage and that's because we've filled it with carrots. So it's filled with food, but that means that this food is now no longer growing anything. So we could do with another storage area. So we'll have a small warehouse. Now, where can we fit one of these? Yeah, it would be quite useful to fit it over there, wouldn't it? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Can't do that now. Um, how about we put it just here? We'll pop that just there. So hopefully they can get to that. Can we prioritise that? No, we can't make it a priority. Never mind. Maybe because the only thing there's left to build, maybe they will just go and build that straight away. Oh no, they're building these houses, aren't they? They're going to build these houses now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They can build extra houses and then we can get the storehouse done. The only thing now is, yeah, they're not growing the carrots. They're not growing the carrots. So time is being wasted. These carrots are sitting here and we're not able to actually get any more carrots out. They're going to free up a bit by you know, eating the food, but it would be nice if they could get this done sooner rather than later. Also, I'm going to put another one of those, um, those water things in as well. Let's put another one of those in just there. So if there's one beaver having a drink, another one can come here and have a drink as well at the same time. That makes quite a lot of sense. And the new warehouse is in. So they're going to start moving stuff into the new warehouse, which means that this field is now ready to have a load of new carrots put in. Also, do you know what we need? We need to get the wooden path going in this way because, you know, it makes sense for a path to go along there. And we're going to have a path going along there as well. We'll connect it up maybe right in front of there. So we'll connect it up there. And in the middle here, eventually, obviously we won't be able to do it at any point soon, but eventually it would be nice to be able to get enough science points to unlock these lovely decor items. So we could put some shrubs in the middle or a flower bed. That might be quite nice. And then maybe a little bench so you can sit down and have a, just, you know, take the weight off your beavery feet and just sit and just watch the world go by. So yeah, that'd be quite handy as well, but they're really expensive in terms of science points. My goodness me. So yeah, really, once we've got this sort of sorted, and I think maybe food and stuff is looking okay now. We've got an all right sort of system. We kind of want to look at this. We're going to get the paper maker in for 70 science points. That's going to craft a load of paper, which is good. It does need a worker, but that should be okay. And then you want to get an inventor's workshop. So that uses the paper to generate science points a lot quicker. So generate 20 science points from four paper. Yeah, it'd be quite useful if we had that in. So 70 science points. Maybe that's what we go for next. Maybe we get the paper maker in. Craft paper from log. So two paper comes from one log. Now, that's interesting as well. Have they even finished this yet? No, they've not even finished doing that. Come on now. Why are they not doing that one? Why are they not so bothered about the forester? Can't get the required materials. I, really? <laughs> there's, there's loads of trees over here. There's loads of trees all over the place. Just chop down one tree and take it over there. Finally, the log has arrived and Zulrajas is going to uh, become our forester. So let's just watch what you're going to do. So you're just going to sort of come out here, do a little bit of planting and a tiny tree has appeared. So it's not got much growth progress yet, but they will provide us with lovely, valuable twigs for, for many, many, many moons to come, I would hope. So yeah, you'll just keep replanting them. So yeah, they're very slow to grow. So we're going to have to try and keep on top of the food production for now. But yeah, once once that's got a load of trees in, we'll be able to harvest those and then get lots of twigs. So food should be okay once they start growing. Um, also, yeah, now let's turn that off. That frees up Seji, 61 days old, who was an old timer now is Seji. So that frees up Seji to go and do some other stuff, go and do some labouring or whatever. Um, yeah, maybe chopping down all of these. 
because there's quite a lot of trees there. That is a lot of logs we've got coming in. So um, let's wait for 70 science points to get this paper maker unlocked. There we go, 70 science points to unlock the paper maker. While that was accruing, I just did have a look at some of these other things in here. So in mechanical production, so these things all require power from one of these fancy wheels and these kind of gear arrangement thingamajigs. Um, we've got the grist mill. So that uh, grinds wheat into flour, which is fine. So you need that for bread. So I kind of get that. That's 50 science points. That's quite affordable. And then you move on to this, the paper mill. So an efficient mechanised paper factory. So it's not just like the little thing we're going to unlock. This is a huge, great big paper mill. 750 science points. That's going to take a long time to get. The mechanical sawmill is 400. And the mechanical gear workshop is 800. <laughs> My goodness me. So yeah, let's get this paper maker. Just an ordinary one. Not a fancy mechanised one. Just, you know, some, some beaver in a little room. So um, yeah, we'll unlock that. Yes, please. So we'll get that in. We'll get the paper maker. We'll put you in pretty much straight away. Let's put you down here. So I'll put a little bit down here, leading down to the water's edge so they can get a drink if they're over this side as well. But um, yeah, let's just get that constructed. So what's that? Some logs and some planks. That should not be too much of a bother. And there we have it. The paper maker is built. Zala has taken up the job of the paper maker and already we have some paper. We've got two sheets of paper. Now the goal would be in the long run, when the Inventor's Workshop is ready, so that requires another 130 science points. That's going to be many, many days of waiting. But when that is then ready to be constructed and is built, they will have loads of paper to just work on straight away. So they'll just be able to go, right, I've got whatever, 100 paper, brilliant. And they'll just be able to churn through and generate many, many research points. But yeah, we need to get 130 science to get that unlocked in the first place. And we've got 10. So that's going to take quite a long time. Uh, in terms of food, things are looking pretty good. We've got eight carrots, 12 grilled potatoes left. How are the potatoes looking? 79 and 60, what, 65-ish for the carrots. So that's looking okay. We do have a little supply of twigs. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep things going for a while. Uh, you are very busy planting these things, but of course, nothing is going to be edible just yet. I think these were the first ones that went down. So only 35% grown. So yeah, food might become a little issue again very, very shortly. Um, we might be all right with the potatoes. We might just scrape by. If that could get up to, say, maybe 89% by the time that the day ends, that would be very useful. Because I think we might just get round to 100% by the end of the day. Are oh, we going to get to 90 on it? Not quite. Okay, so yeah, food. Food. Ah, now we're out of food. Okay, no, we've got twigs. We've got five delicious twigs. I'm thinking we've got lots of children. We've got four children sort of wandering about, not doing anything. At some point, they will turn into adults and they'll be labourers. We've got kind of plenty of resources here with planks and logs and stuff. Is it worth building another field? Maybe getting ourselves another potato field in, putting two of our labourers into the potato field, and then that gives us double the amount of potatoes, which is all good. It's all good for extra food and stuff. Or do we just get a carrot field in? Just go, there you go, carrots. Just lots of them, 120 of them after every four days. It satisfies nutrition one. That's fine. At least it satisfies their hunger in some way. Do you know what? That might be a sensible idea. Let's get ourselves... Anything else going to go in here? We, want, we might want to keep that spare in case we put another water wheel thing in. Let's put... Uh, let's build that over that way. So let's get a little path going over that way. I do like a path. So I run the path through there. That's going to be the forester. So we don't want to uh, sort of get in that person's way. So we'll put the we'll put the field along here. So we'll get ourselves a nice new carrot field. Delicious carrots. And we'll just drop that in there. And then, um, yeah, that, that will have to be an alternative source of food. It's going to take up quite a few of our labourers. But that's fine. That is fine. In fact, have they finished chopping down all the trees? That we told them to. Yes. Okay. Right. So the labourers are currently doing nothing anyway. They're just sort of hauling stuff about. So um, yeah, we'll wait until that's done. We'll assign two people into it. It shouldn't take that long because it's only eight logs. So that's not too tricky to do. Where? What have you guys got? What have you guys got? Hang on. Pause time. What are you carrying? You're hauling twigs. Did you leave a load of twigs over here and then just didn't pick them up? Oh, you're still chopping them down. Oh, crikey. Okay. <laughs> I thought you'd finished. I thought you'd finished that absolutely ages ago. Okay, a few hunger symbols appearing, but we should be okay. We're going to get the carrots and the potatoes out at the same time, by the look of it. Right, so many potatoes going in there. 
They're going to then go back in here. We need to activate that building. So Solix is going to run into here and he is going to be crafting some lovely, lovely grilled potatoes. And we've got food again. <laughs> Hurrah. So um, there we go. We've got food. Obviously, it's going back out very quickly. And we've got ourselves two people working in the carrot field as well. So that is wonderful. So we've got two people in the carrot field there, two there, two on this field. This is all going very, very well. I like this. This is looking good now. It's got lots of carrots. We've got grilled potatoes. That is full. Uh, and this potato food is what? That's already 4% through. So, you know, it, they're growing. We've got double the amount of carrots coming in. It would be nice to have another potato field, but we don't have enough sort of, uh, I was going to say people, we don't have enough beavers at the moment to cope with that. But what we'll do is we'll pause it. Um, and I think what we'll do is I, I want to pop back to this again, just to have another go at just getting some more stuff done. I just want to sort of see this more sort of mechanical sort of stuff, if we can get anywhere near this. Maybe just sort of make bread or something. Maybe just get this in, get the grist mill in. So um, yeah, we're trying to get the science points to unlock the the inventor's workshop to speed up the acquisition of um, of science points because that seems quite slow. So um, yeah, so I'd like to come back and just carry things on a little bit just to unlock some of the more fancy buildings. So yeah, maybe just go through and get ourselves a bakery. Just get ourselves a bakery and a grist mill so grist mill winds, uh, grinds wheat into flour. Okay, so we're going to get a wheat field for 30 science points. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then we need to get a bakery for 70. And then I imagine we need this as well. So the bakery is going to require flour. So yeah, it's going to take about 200 science points to get the whole bread making process in. But you know, I just kind of want to do that. Maybe get ourselves some little bit of decor as well in the meantime, if it's that quick to accrue science points. So um, yeah, I'd like to come back. I, I quite enjoy this. It's very, very interesting. I like this. Um, I, I mean, I like the fact that it's everything is made of wood. It looks very, very pretty. It plays very well. It plays very well. We've had no bugs. We've had no glitches, no crashes. Nothing has become, you know, there's nothing that looked immediately sort of, you know, urgently wrong. Nothing has gone weird. There's been no sort of graphical anomalies or anything. It's sort of run very, very smoothly. I'm very, very sort of pleased with it. So, um, yeah, I'd like to come back and just have another little dabble. And we shall do that in the, uh, you know, in the near future. We won't leave it too long before we come back and just see what happens with the rest of the science points and stuff. But we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very good indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out here in Timberborn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>